Right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our very first Cisco U live virtual event with members of the Cisco U. We are thrilled to have you all here with us today and are very excited to share some valuable information about getting started with the Cisco U. And let's see with that, it's my privilege to introduce our speakers for today. Um, first, we have Kate Dignan, who is our customer experience product manager for the learning and certifications team at Cisco, as well as the Cisco U uh, platform itself, um, as well as Kareem Iskander, who is our lead technical advocate for learning and certifications team and is primarily dedicated to growing the Cisco U platform. Kate and Kareem will be sharing insights on how to get started with the Cisco U and will also provide valuable tips for success with the platform. And with that, let's make sure, Kate, you're unmuted and we'll dive right in. Hi, Kate. All right, I am here. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Sounds right. perfect. Thank you. Fabulous. Thank you for that lovely introduction. Excited to be with you all today uh, and excited to talk about Cisco U. Um, my coworker, Kareem, is going to be driving the presentation. So I'm just going to give him a second. And we are ready to go, it looks like. Um, so welcome. I hope you all are excited about Cisco U in the way that Kareem and I are. We've been really working hard with many others to build a great, new, fantastic learning experience for you all. And before we dive into the actual nuts and bolts of working on the site, let's kind of talk about the why, why we wanted to build Cisco U. So Cisco U is meant to guide learners to the role certification or solution they need. And how are we going to do that? We're going to do that through tailored learning paths, skills and sites, AI-driven recommendations, project-based learning, and modular learning. We want to be able to offer our folks who use Cisco U a way to learn it when they want it, how they want it. And as we know in the world, crowded world of LMS and learning platforms out there right now, one of the big ways that we need to acknowledge a good learning experience for our learners is through guidance. And that means providing an experience built around you, community. It's been proven that folks learn better when they learn collaboratively and can share their learning and deepen their understanding. So in that way, we wanna offer a space for learners and collab uh, creators to collaborate. And then depth. You folks who are familiar with Cisco Learning understand that there's a depth of quality that you expect from us as an industry leader, and we want to acknowledge and honor that as we build Cisco U. Guidance, let's talk a little bit more about that. So what does guidance mean? We're looking to provide an experience built around you, the learner. So in that way, we've kind of come at it from many different angles. That means quick start pre-assessments to help build a personalized experience for you. Goal-based learning, it's been proven to show that folks who have goals that they have established and are measured against are typically more successful in accomplishing those goals. Learning paths, and that can be anything from a career certification, role-based, or solution-based. We are aiming to encompass a lot of different things there and acknowledge that not everybody's going to need the exact same solution for their learning needs. Personalized recommendations to help you sort through all of the content that we have in a way that doesn't waste time or make you feel overwhelmed. Advanced search, and as well as an intuitive, modern, and friendly user experience for our learners. We don't want to make you have to struggle to find what you need. And we additionally look to have project-based learning. We can go to the next slide. Community. So let's talk about community. Community. Matt knows a lot about it through Cisco Learning Network. He has taught us a lot about it. We have an, a global community of a million plus members. How do we make use of that? Let's offer a space for learners and content creators to connect. And we can create that through forums and activities and topics and servicing social media events to you through the CLN community. We can offer join uh, community study groups and digital communities for you to pose questions, answer questions, and help others learn as well as deepen your understanding. And you can network with organizations and learners to build connections and be part of a community within a company. Finally, the depth of quality you expect from a tech industry leader. Cisco didn't earn its name in the learning space by just sitting back and doing nothing, but we need to continually to push forward and honor the work that's been done already. So in that spirit, we're working towards bringing in adjacent technologies and an evolution of Cisco Learner offerings combined all in one convenient place for you. 
modular learning to help you find a way to enjoy learning, but in smaller bites. Don't feel overwhelmed by the learning that we have out there because some of the learning paths require some time that you put in in order to complete them. But we want you to feel like there's a way for you to kind of chew through it in smaller bites. There's learning in many forms. Uh, as we will talk about the different content types that we have within our learning uh, offerings, you'll be able to see that there's ways to what I call learn actively, which means you're watching a video, you're in a course, or learn passively, which is I'm going to take a podcast while I'm commuting to work this morning. And then we have a digital classroom experience that keeps you involved and engaged, and as well as continuing education for skills and certifications. We don't want you to just come, do your training, and then leave. It's important for all of us to continue to learn and engage continuously so that we can continue to build upon the knowledge we have. And that's, I believe, the end of our slideshow. So now that we've gone through that, let's get into the nuts and bolts of Cisco U. Here is where you will find yourself when you log into Cisco U. Here you can see a lot of information in one place. Now, if you just want to get the main rundown of everything on this site, this landing page is going to help you do that. You can see all the different ways that you can personalize your journey, how to complete training faster. It'll start to talk about that. You're going to see all the tools and topics surface to you there, as well as information on how to join the communities and how to learn your own way. So with that, let's go ahead and dive into the personalized experience you keep hearing me talk about, and let's go up to For You. So For You is basically what I would consider to be your landing page once you get into Cisco U. What does For You actually do? At the top of the page, Cream, let's go ahead and show folks this green marquee card in the upper left corner allows you to take a personalized survey in order to start the personalization process. I mean can be personalized if you're not giving us a little information. So what technology interests you? You can select as many as you want. You can say, I don't know yet. You can click them all, go for it. And what will happen is we'll move you on to another question that just says, hey, if you could guess, if you're not quite sure what your skill level is, or maybe you've been doing this for 20 years and you're an expert, you can pick which one you think most fits your needs. Now, you're never locked into this forever you can change your answers at any time. So let's go ahead and click forward one more screen. And Kareem, of course, is, I would say, probably an expert. He's probably selling himself short there. But in this case, we'll give him advance. For the certification, not everybody is here for a certification. Maybe you know what cert you're here for. Maybe you don't. Here, you don't have to select anything. But in this instance, Kareem's going to select DevNet Associate. But you can leave a blank if you want. Once you've filled that out, you will get for you to begin to populate some answers on what we think would be content that's pertinent for you. So with that said, Kareem, can you just talk briefly through, you heard me mention AIML recommendations. How does Cisco U, the interest survey, begin to build a personalized experience for our learners? Yeah, definitely, Kate. So um, as Kate mentioned, it can't be personalized without you giving us a little bit of inf information. And so what we've done is we've taken that data that you provide us in your um, survey and your onboarding survey. And with your clicks and what you do on the platform, we collate all of that data into an AI ML format and we essentially um, populate the content that you told us that you might be interested in based on solutions that you're interested in, your certification goals that you told us that you're interested in, as well as what you're looking at from within Cisco U. And so within Cisco U, we have a couple of things for you to, uh, for you to, to, to navigate into and, and look at, and we have different content types. And I'd like to talk to you a little bit about what would you, uh, what's, what would you expect to see on the platform? So, um, as Kate mentioned, um, the first thing we tailor our, for you is the recommended learning path. And you can see that here um, on the For You page. And the learning path are essentially a guided journey through, uh, 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 through role-based certification track or uh, solution-based learning. And so depending on what you're after, um, we're going to have courses put in a path for you so you can go through it 
and um, accomplish your, uh, your goal. Next, we also provide you, if you're not looking at doing, investing a lot of time into a learning path, and you maybe already know some of the content, but you want to maybe drill into a specific topic, this is where we have courses are available for you. Um, courses is our, uh, a micro learning that we have that you can go in and look at, and most of our courses have, which is a great um, uh, a great thing for you as a, as a learner, our, our hands-on labs. It's, um, as an engineer myself, do I find myself learning best when I actually practice what I'm reading. And so within our courses, we have labs that you can actually take and uh, put in what we have been teaching you into practice. Now, Kate mentioned a little bit about the, our, our three pillars within Cisco U. And one of the pillars that uh, that we've talked about is, um, and we've tailored into Cisco U's communities. And we wanted to be able to bring in that community aspect within the platform itself. And this is where um, you'll see the communities that you belong into um, if you're part of the Cisco Learning Network, which Cisco Learning Network, which you can sign up for um, and get an account into. Uh, and any communities that you join within the Cisco Learning Network will be part of your Cisco U for you page. That's part of the, the tailored experience. And then we wanted to be able to bring in bite-sized learning as well as keep you engaged with our, um, our podcast that we release on a monthly basis, as well as any webinars that are taking place um, that might match your interests that you've told us about. We're bringing in a new concept also within Cisco U. And, uh, you might have seen this um, somewhere uh, similar, but in, in Cisco U, we have what we call tutorials. Uh, these tutorials are basically bite-sized learning for you to come in, uh, learn something, or maybe you are trying to, um, you're trying to accomplish something in your infrastructure and you're stuck and you're looking for that moment of need training. These tutorials are there for you to help you and guide you step-by-step -step on how to accomplish tasks. Um, so this is something that's also part of as a content type of uh, Cisco U. And then finally, all of the great videos and webinars and, um, and, and series that we have on as part of our Cisco Learning Network and community out there is going to be bring, brought into Cisco U and you'll have it here tailored for you so you can actually see what's going on. Now, can, can you tell me a little bit how do I make the most out of my experience on the For You page? Yeah, happily. Um, so for you, as you can see, a lot of different content types in here. Now, just be mindful, everything on for you has been curated for what you've expressed an interest in. That said, how do you make the most out of this page to Kareem's point? What I want to point out is just some nuts and bolts housekeeping to help you make use of this page. As you look at the top of the page, you'll see that there are these gray, I call them a content card. And it, it, any hover in the hover state, it turns blue. You can see there is a bookmark icon on the upper right-hand corner, and it says, the hover state says, add to my list. What is my list? Your list is basically like any app that we all are using these days. I'm not going to mention any of them, but we probably have many, where you have a list of things that you've added that you're interested in. So when you go into For You and you find something in it that hey, this podcast sounds really good, or this learning path is actually why I'm here. You will select the bookmark in the upper right-hand corner, and it will add to your list. And if you just scroll up just a few inches green, you can see my list will always be on the top of the For You page. It is sorted, I believe, by most recently added, but you can scroll through it. Maybe you just want to be reminded. I know I have to go out to several of my regularly used sites for TV viewing, to try to remember what I added six months ago that I still haven't watched. So this is just a way for you to kind of be able to say, all right, I just want to click through. Wasn't there a podcast I wanted to listen to? I've got a long train ride. There it is, getting started with network programmability. Blammo, I'm done. So that's one of the things with For You that we want to make sure you understand. It's probably pretty intuitive, but hey, everything I assume is intuitive for me is not always intuitive for others. <laughs> the last thing I want to just call out is in the upper right part of for you, excuse me, for you, you'll see a blue marquee card. Um, and if you can just, yeah, scroll a little better. 
if you're here for a certification, um, you want to do a learning path to prep ahead of your certification, um, that's going to cross launch you over to begin to schedule yourself for any exams. Um, we didn't want to make you have to search around and dig for that. That's why that's there. No pressure. If you're not ready for your cert, no big deal, but it's there so you don't have to dig. Um, so I wanted to just call that out. Now, all that aside, um, Kareem, now that folks know how to use for you, let's talk about the learning path. It's kind of like the apex of our learning content. Can you just kind of walk us through one of those? Yeah, so we're learning and certifications, right? And we have, you know, industry leading uh, training that we provide you guys. And what we did is we brought that into Cisco U and we've created a path for you. So whether you're going into, <clears throat> excuse me, whether you're trying to get into Cisco U to accomplish your dev associate as a certification, or you want to, you're interested in learning what Cisco is doing in hybrid cloud from a solution perspective, or maybe you're a network engineer looking to adopt automation and you want to get to that next level of network automation. Um, we have content for you, and we put that content in a logical format um, in what we call learning path. And so I'm going to pick on the dev associate. And if, uh, you know, we're, we're in charge of our certification, so we know what's on the blueprint. We share those certification blueprint with you. And so typically, logically, we would want to um, have the the training correspond to the certification blueprint for you. So as you're looking at what you're gonna be studying, it's put together for you in a learning path. So let's look at and dig into this deaf associate learning path that we have for you. Hey, you know, you have your CCNA, you're looking to validate your automation and you're ready to tackle the dev associate, but you wanna get started into learning. So if I click on the learning path here from a dev associate, you get, the panel on the left that shows you, you know, what what you're going to be <clears throat> what we're going to be teaching you from a training perspective for um, this certification exam. Clearly, it's a Dev DevNet Associate exam, which means it's going to cover automation, APIs, um, and um, all DevNet topics. And so, if you look on the right hand side of a learning path, what you'll see is you'll see uh, a logical division of our learning path into tracks. Each track correspond to a bullet point um, a sub a topic in the blueprint on our um, certification blueprint. And so each track has a set of courses and these courses guide you through the subtopics from the blueprint. And so you can see here that, okay, first of all, I'm gonna talk about software development and design. And in there, I'm gonna look at practice model software development, uh, practicing mo modern software development, if I could read. Um, and um, next, you're gonna look at what using API is, network fundamental infrastructure automation. Like I said, all of these are tracks that have courses with it. And so, one of the things that we're also bringing into our learning path, and I'll, I'll cover that in, in our next webinar, um, is our pre-assessment and post-assessment um, that we provide you. So we want you to come in here and we want you to learn about um, the topics that you don't understand, right? And you're trying to beef up on or upscale on, right? And so we wanna make sure that we tailor these learning paths to you. And so one of the things that you'll see when you get into some of our learning path is a pre-assessment skill where we're gonna ask you a set of questions similar to the survey, but these are technical questions that correspond to the learning path. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna tailor these tracks based on your answer. So we will know that, yeah, you already understand um, how to consume REST APIs or how to build an API or how to describe an IP network based on your correct answers. And if you don't get the entire survey correctly, obviously we're gonna show you where you need to take or where you need to focus. And as you're drilling into the tracks and finishing off, finishing off these courses, you're gonna also have post assessments. And these post assessments are gonna test your, what you've learned within that entire module. And so and this, is, this is a huge um, thing for, uh, for me, you know, when I'm, when I'm upskilling or I'm learning out there is I'd like to actually validate what I've done. And so it's, it's really important to just follow that path and, and, and test your skills as you go. Um, 
So if I go here and I look at the courses, I'm gonna pick on, let's see, let, let's, see let's do using, let's pick on using APIs and let's do consuming REST-based APIs. This is a course that gets launched and within a course itself, here in a second, you'll see different lessons and topics, right? You're gonna get your introduction and you can see that this is gonna be a video and we have different icons for you here that corresponds to, okay, this introduction lesson is a video and it's gonna have a snippet to it. If I go through next here, um, all of our courses are micro learning, so you're not spending a long time on every single section. They're pretty much easily to consume and um, provide you exactly what you need to know. And so if I'm drilling here, I'm looking, okay, this is, this is a course, this is another course that's gonna cover HTTP authentication. It's probably gonna talk about, you know, how to get an auth uh, key and do supply that to your headers, blah, 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 blah. So all of that good stuff. But then this is one thing that I'd like to point out is as I'm going through this and I've covered a bunch of topics in my courses, we also have what looks like a, a chemistry set here, a flask. This is a lab, right? So the lab will provide you a sandbox for you to get in and test what we've been talking about. And this is part of the learning path. You get access to it. There's no special privileges. And you can simply go in here, initialize this lab. Um, it'll take a couple minutes to spin up and we'll give you access to uh, an environment where you can start playing with this. And not only that, but we provide you a walkthrough on how to do something. And so you can test out your skills as part of that lab. One last thing here that I'd like to point out um, in the course, uh, cards that, that we provide these icons here. These icons have a meaning. Um, they're not just pretty. Um, so the icons here gives you an idea of the level of certification or a learning path. So in this case, it's a beginner. This is the time invested that you will, it will be an investment on your side to complete this entire learning path. So in this case, as expected, is an, and it's, it's a certification uh, learning path. And therefore there's an, a bit of an investment on your time of 32 hours. Um, and then the number of courses and labs that correspond to this learning path. So um, this gives you kind of um, an overview of what you're going to see as you're drilling into that learning path. Wow, amazing. Thanks, Kareem, for walking us through that. So as you can see, we are trying to hit so many data points for you to have before you opt into a, a learning path so you understand what your commitment is. And to Kareem's point, we've worked very hard to kind of chunk the data out within a learning path so that if you've only got three hours to work on it, you know what you can work on by seeing those hourly increments. So really briefly, I'm gonna just walk you through a few more things. Um, if you look at the top of the page, you can see our top nav is for you, explore and community. Let's talk about explore really briefly. And I wanna explain the difference between explore and for you. So explore, is basically an uncurated experience within Cisco U. If you're curious about anything else that's out there or you have you know, ancillary interests or something you'd like to know a little bit more about, this is the place to go. As you can see, we have it broken out by content types. And as you toggle in to each different content type, there are filters there that are pertinent to each type that you can leverage in order to kind of narrow down the scope of what you're looking at. Now, if you don't wanna apply any of the filters, you'll get all of it, but we want you to have that there as an option for you to understand all of the content that Cisco U has to offer. There are no recommendations here. As you can see from just even the headers, it doesn't say recommended videos, recommended courses. This is everything we got here for you. So now that we've looked at Explore really briefly, one of the most important parts about any kind of learning is understanding where you are in progressing in that learning. So we have built a dashboard for our users, our learners to use. Sorry, I call you guys users. You're all learners. I don't want to disrespect you that way. So where is the dashboard? If you look where Cream's mouse is in the upper right corner, you see the U icon with your initials in it. Click onto that and then we'll take you into my dashboard. This dashboard actually has three sub tabs, so we'll go through them one by one really briefly. Here you can see on my dashboard, we are starting to bring in metrics so you can understand what you have in your list. And as time progresses, you'll begin to see more and more metrics around your progression within each type of content. Below that, you see certifications. 
badges and any kind of um, recognitions in the future state, we will bring in some recognitions. As well as on certifications, you can see we've been very vigilant with our designs to call out anywhere where you are either running out of time to get certified or you've expired. As you can see in Kareem's case, he might need to do a little work, his CCNA has expired. We bring this here to you just to make sure that it's front of brain so that when you are investing time on Cisco U, you're not accidentally missing the opportunity to recertify and running into an expiration date. We do have that show up at six months prior um, in a yellow state, and as you get closer and closer, it flips to red. So that is what is currently on the dashboard landing page. Um, if you scroll up just a little bit, Kareem, let's briefly talk through my learning. So my learning, again, this is familiar terrain, probably for many of you who watch TV online. Here is your list. It is by default sorted by when you have added to it. And here you can see each content type is called out and where your progress is within each one. Now in this one, Kareem hasn't started anything yet. Better get to that, buddy. But in time, we will you will see your progress and where you are in each piece. And if you want to try something else, or you maybe are feeling a little overloaded with your learning path, I just want to do a webinar. It'll all be there. We also have your history. All right, so I take that back, Cream. You kind of have been doing your work here. He's been doing his, he's been doing four different things in here, and it's showing completion. So if you ever want to kind of revisit what you maybe learned a year or two ago, you will see it in here. Um, and by default, it is sorted by the date completed. The last thing I just want to bring up is my community. Now, we have deliberately kind of skirted around the very top community tab because we wanna save it for a later webinar. But here I'm gonna give you the tutorial on what you'll see in the dashboard. Here, as Kareem already intimated, anything that you're already following on Cisco Learning Network, any discussions, any communities that you are participating in will bubble up to you here. If you don't have a Cisco Learning Network account, this will, all, this will have a default uh, empty state set for you. And we encourage you to sign up for a Cisco Learning Network account so that you can bring all that information over and have it in one spot. That being said, that's what you'll see under the My Community tab. Now, that kind of wraps up our part of this conversation. And you can see at the bottom, there also are upcoming events. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that. But I wanted to just kind of call out that Cisco U is obviously a work in progress. Uh, we're committed to learning, and that means your learning at the same time. It also means learning from you. You'll see that when you return to Cisco U over time, you will see those changes that we are working on both in the content and in your experience. Cisco U will combine the learning that we have from our users with good old fashioned human learning and user feedback to give you all the best experience all along the way on your journey. And we look forward to continuing to evolve Cisco U to make sure that we're meeting your needs as our learners.